What's up guys? It's time to get the 2020 KX450 finished up. Stay through the whole video. We're gonna get the plastic installed, get the subframe on, get this thing fully assembled, and we're gonna start this bad boy up. Let's get after it. Welcome to the channel. Here is a shot of the subframe installed. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your intake boot set on your throttle body and just get that torqued up in the front. Get your intake sensor so it's up above the intake. Get all four of your bolts in. Now, if these, these are gonna be a little bit tight, so we like to start with two of the bolts and just pick up and line up those holes and get it squared away. So here's the intake for this build. We have this pre-drilled and threaded for the sensor so we're going to take the factory sensor we're going to insert that into here it does have an o-ring on it but we always put a little bit of yellow bond on there just for uh, extra insurance and i'm going to throw some red loctite on this hold down screw So the subframe is installed, intake is lined up. Um, on our intake, it's pretty much a universal bracket. It's slotted both directions, so we're able to actually shift the intake over to clear the starter solenoid. And I've got the battery box installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new ground wire for the negative terminal. This is the factory one, which you can loop it to ground, but just being that this is a pretty thick powder coat, I don't wanna have to grind any off. I'm gonna go directly to the motor. That's the best option for these. This is a KFX 450R seat latch, factory from Kawasaki. So basically uh, we're gonna get on to putting the plastic on, we're gonna get everything installed, we're gonna get the exhaust tightened up here. So a quick shot of that. You can see how we have the exhaust mount built into our subframe bracket that's welded to our subframe and bolts to the factory location. So that lines up there. And when you go to install this, it's okay to loosen your head pipe and move it up and down so it fits the best. We're gonna install a spacer here with a longer bolt. That's gonna clearance the exhaust out for the caliper travel. And it is nice that Kawasaki does have an indent on here. So it keeps from getting any dents on here under full compression. So our goal with this 2019 and up Kawasaki kit was to just be as absolutely clean as possible. There's minimal trimming on the fenders. So all we did was remove the back section and that was completely it. So factory mounting locations there. We're actually supplying the grommets, the bushings and everything in the seat bracket here for your seat and your plastic mounts in the back. And we relocated the fender mounts up high, up here. We did that, so if you ever run something over, you're not gonna actually bend the bracket. So that's about up here now and it's farther in. So we're just gonna pop some holes there. Or we're gonna trim this off to clean it up. Yeah, everything came out super clean. Exhaust is spaced out. Caliper clearance is on point. Super clean install. Now guys, our kit comes with a seat post relocator bracket. 
So more or less, this just lines up the C post correctly for this style of seat. So we did some trimming on the pan. We got this drilled and installed. To do that, we just pulled some staples out and uh, more or less peeled the foam back, got it installed. So there's a quick shot of that. I'm gonna go ahead and staple this back on. Test fit of the seat, everything looks good. So just make sure your gaps are good. We're gonna go ahead and pop some holes right there. Get that going. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our shrouds mounted up and trimmed up to line up with this seat. So we did actually kick this tank up to more or less bring the line of the seat down. We didn't want to put a huge bend right here. I see a lot of builds with these seats online. They always seem to have a hump right here. So we just more or less kicked the tank up to eliminate that. Got the seat pretty much as flat as we could without looking funny. So tank risers installed. We're gonna have a couple of relocation brackets for the shrouds on the frame and the radiator. But right now we're gonna get this trimmed up and uh, close those gaps up. this thing turned out unbelievable i'm not going to talk through the whole rest of the video we're going to get right to a walk around we're going to show you guys oh there's a little sneak peek of it we're going to show you guys what it looks like full walk around we're going to start it up now if you guys are interested in a trait kit similar to this or a build check out bbctrikes.com you can also go to bbcoffroad.com you can give us a call 518-563-3699 if you guys like this build hit the thumbs up button comment what you think i don't care if you like it hate it just comment let me know what you guys think we love your feedback thanks for the support guys